New Hampshire is all set for the Trump-Haley face-off. The U.S. state is the first to hold a primary with the Republican presidency race now down to former President Donald Trump and former United Nations envoy Nikki Haley. Polling has already begun at several locations. Reports suggest that as many as 300,000 people could participate in the nation's first primary. Voters in the tiny community of Dixville, Notch, were first to cast their ballots at midnight. It is a tradition that began in 1960. I think New Hampshire is going to surprise everybody and that Nikki is going to um, be the candidate. Uh, at least that's what I'm hoping, but I have a really good feeling. Um, she's a fighter and she's not giving up. And I think tonight we showed everybody that Nikki's the one. A polling station in the town of Manchester also opened its doors where a mix of both Haley and Trump supporters were seen voting. If you don't like where we're heading, this is how you change it. You don't do it by January 6th or things like that. You know, this is, um, it's, we're better than that. We can be. Donald Trump. And, and why is that? Because this country needs change. And uh, were you, did you consider Nikki Haley or she wasn't ever? I second? honestly considered her. Uh, she was, a, she, it was, it was touch and go. Um, but then there were a few issues in the end that Trump won. Presidential candidate Nikki Haley made a final push for voters in the town of Hampton. And what Donald Trump has shown is Donald Trump has shown he's good at breaking things. But you gotta have somebody that can fix things too. And that's the situation we're in. We got a lot to fix. Trump is confident the New Hampshire primary will see Haley out of the race. You've got a lot of Democrats voting for her. You have a crazy election. Let's all get out and let's vote for somebody that we want to run against. They want to run against because she's so easy to beat. If you look at the polls, Biden beats her by a lot. We cannot have that. Trump is leading opinion polls by double-digit margins. In New Hampshire, independent voters make up nearly 40% of the electorate. This means they can choose either party's primary. The state's Republican governor, Chris Sununu, is supporting Nikki Haley, one of the few Trump critics in the Republican Party. Sununu says voters in New Hampshire have always resisted the trend. Trump is in a comfortable position. Both CNN and the Washington Post show him with a double-digit lead over Haley. Notably, Trump's momentum surged after Vivek Ramaswamy's endorsement and with DeSantis also backing him, a further boost in number is also expected in New Hampshire. There is also a Democratic primary, but President Biden is not even on the ballot. However, state Democratic leaders have successfully championed a write-in campaign. Various volunteers across the state are participating in the write-in Joe Biden campaign as they encourage people to write in Joe Biden. We're now being joined by VOA correspondent Chris Cascao, live from New Hampshire. Hi, Chris. How is the voting process so far in terms of turnout? And what are the predictions? Or is it a bit too early for that? Well, turnout so far here in Manchester, New Hampshire, in this ward too, which is the second biggest ward in terms of number of voters is fair according to election officials uh, and Nikki Haley is really counting on support of those so-called undeclared voters who make up 40 percent of the electorate uh, in New Hampshire to push her over the top as she is trailing Donald Trump by double digits in most polls. Mm -hmm. Chris, uh, since this is a two-horse race between Trump and Haley, who stands a chance to beat the other in this state? What are residents of New Hampshire saying? Well, I've had conversations with rideshare drivers and people on the street, and this is a very politically engaged populace. You know, they, they are suffering from economic woes. Even though inflation is going down, they see that as a factor in their vote. And the people that I talk to say that Trump is better for the economy than Nikki Haley or even Joe Biden if we get to the general election. 
So it'll be interesting to see if Haley can count on the support of those so-called undeclared voters and that will tighten the margin uh, that we see in this uh, primary in the polls or if it will end up going to President, former President Donald Trump. VOA correspondent live in New Hampshire. Chris, thank you very much for talking to us today. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.